Good morning, my dear students. Today, in this class, now we are going to learn the newly introduced, the most interesting topic is picture description. According to the old question paper, this topic was not there. The last year, <coughs> this new topic introduced to check the language efficiency of the children. In English, <coughs> dear students, now I have shown you the beautiful picture on the wall. Such the printed and image will be given in your exam by observing that image or picture. You want to identify the existing things in the picture, and you have to construct a sentence and write in the form of the paragraph. This carries three months. It is the students will be how can we able to write the sentences by observing the picture? The many students will feel like that. The students, those who are having command over the language, they can easily compose or construct the sentences and they are able to write. Dear student, by seeing the picture, first we have to clearly observe. The picture. What are the things there in this picture? Here there is a curtain, a window curtain, and there are two persons. And here one is reading newspaper, and there is a table, and here this man is sitting, and this boy is looking towards his father, and there are a few books on the table. So like this. Now I have just explained the things which are there in the image, but by using some cues and we can able to write the sentences. <coughs> Dear student, first we want to use the indicator. Here there are two words, this and that. This and that indicates the exact person or exact thing. Dear students, here we can't use these two words. Instead of this, indefinite identifier is they. The indefinite identifier is they. They is used for indicating indicating only one word. Here, this is a singular. That is also singular. For this, here we want to use as a plural. Singular form of a common noun and as a same plural. So this is for singular, singular and plural. They. So there is or there was. There are or there was. There are two they. The they gives us two meanings. One, they means the identifier. In another context, there becomes the place. So, there is used for the place, place as I say, identify. Identify object. So, here we are students, and this day is coming. There are two. One day, and another one, the pronoun is also there. So, day. Dear students, we have to understand this is identifying an object is a T H E R E. T H E R E, there is a identifying an object. But T H E I R is not identifying an object, that is a pronoun. It is a pronoun, that is an adjective pronoun. So, dear students, one, this is the first step. Now we have learned the first step of the picture description is using they for singular and plural. Singular common noun and plural common noun. And we use, uh, if it is a singular common noun, it becomes uh, this there is or there was. If it is a plural, there are, there were. And this is one thing. Here, just as I say, here there is a wall. There is a man. 
there is a boy there is a man there is a table so like this so it is a singular that's why we can use they is if it is a plural there are books instead of the books on the table we identify there are two books on the table so like that. this is a first step dear student now the second step second step is continuous tense we have to use we have to continuous tense for easy for the helping the kannada medium students and also english medium students here the continuous tense what the things are existing in this picture are identified with the help of the continuous tense that is present continuous that is the second step is this is present continuous the present continuous tense helps us to identify the things are which are existing in that the picture present continuous there is a man there is a man he is reading newspaper there is a boy he is looking at his father so like that so with the help of he with the help of the helping verb helping was is <coughs> and as we are to use here is are is are with the help of is and are we can make the construction of the sentence and third the third step is the third step is the present status present status Dear students, I hope you are understanding. The first step is using there as to identify singular comma noun and plural comma noun. And second step is using present continuous tense, constructing the sentences with the help of is, are, are, the helping words. And third step is the important that is indicates the present status. Present status means Now I have the I have written as I will write the sentence. There is there is a man. There is a man. He is he is reading. This is present continuous. He is reading newspaper. 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 He is. He is at the table. Where is he? That is at the table. He is the present status of that person. How about there is a boy? There is a boy. He is listening, listening the words of his father. The boy is also at the table. The table. Here, dear student, this is one sentence, and this is the second sentence, and this is the third sentence. As the same we will write, there is a boy. There is a boy. So, a is a singular. Boy is a singular. That's why a is used because of that. Healthy word is comes. There is a boy. He is looking. He is looking at his father. Looking at his father. So that is the present status. What the boy was doing. So looking at his father. The present status are identified with the help of the using preposition. So here at at is a preposition. At the table. At his father, and there are there are a few books, a few books on the on the table. On the table, on the table is a present status, and there is there is a window. There is a window. There is a window.
Yes, student. I hope you have understood and uh, these three steps and to take the image or the picture and uh, first you will have to look at the picture clearly and use these three steps and to write the sentences of your own and enjoy. Enjoy the art of writing that will help you to improve your vocabulary and also the command over the language that will definitely help you for writing the, the sentences in the annual examination which will value you 3 marks. Dear student, I hope you have understood this beautiful the description. Thank you for watching this video.